can we identify on this mink? Number one, right here we have the mink's larynx, trachea. Pull that back out of the way behind it. This brown tube is the esophagus. Okay, pull that back out of the way. The hole that's remaining in here is the pharynx. All right. Then right in here, this is one of the salivary glands, the submandibular gland. Okay, right in there. Then on either side where the trachea and the esophagus, where we have some blood vessels and the nerve here, a neurovascular bundle. Most means show the artery and nerve. Very few show the vein. The nerve was the vagus nerve. What would this be, left or right? Left. Left. left, vagus nerve, and the artery right beside it is the left common carotid artery. The vein, if it was intact there, would be the left internal jugular vein, internal jugular. On the outside, a vein you see going kind of out in this fashion, they don't show it as well in this mink, out here would be the external jugular vein, but I don't see it as well on Bob here. Okay, So now down into the uh, mink's thoracic cavity. This organ right in here, nice and brown, this is the thymus. Pull that out of the way, of course, you have the heart right here in the very center. On the heart itself, what do we want to see here? Well, our chambers, the right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, left atrium on the back side there. As far as the vessels go, well, this one's a little trickier to see on Bob here. Um kind of see the stoplight. It's like one, two, and three here, although not the best. Oh, sorry, here we go. One, two, and three. So on top here, this would be superior vena cava, aorta, pulmonary trunk, and down here is inferior vena cava. Right there would be one of the pulmonary veins. Okay, so that's the heart. Then speaking of big veins, this big vein right here was superior vena cava. Pull that back out of the way, and down here, here is the mink's aortic arch that was cut right in there. Coming off the aortic arch, there are two big blood vessels. On the mink's left-hand side, right here, this is the left subclavian artery. On the mink's right-hand side, this is the brachiocephalic trunk, which branches into three arteries, like the bird's foot. First one we see right in here, this was the left common carotid artery right here is right common carotid going out to the mink's right arm the last artery right in here that is the right subclavian artery so left common carotid right common carotid right subclavian all branching off of the brachiocephalic trunk then out here in the mink's underarm region now we've crossed where the ribs are so we see an artery and vein right in here the artery would be the axillary artery, and the vein is the axillary vein. So this would be the right axillary artery, right axillary vein. The nerves that are still here, by the way, this would be the mink's brachial plexus, all the nerves we see in the underarm region as well, brachial plexus. Okay. Uh, then back down here now, again, to the mink, here is our trachea going all the way down. The trachea branched right here into the two bronchi. You had a left bronchus and a right bronchus. Mink's with their left lung, two lobes, a superior lobe, inferior lobe. The right lung had four lobes, superior, middle, inferior, and the cardiac lobe. The big vein you see right here, by the way, is inferior vena cava. The muscle right through here is the diaphragm. Okay, so that's all the structures found in that region. Down here in the abdominal region now, let's open this up. First, this big membrane coming over the intestines, we call this the greater omentum. Then this huge organ right in here, liver, hidden amongst the right lobes of the, of the liver, this deflated sac here is the gallbladder, exactly. Pull the liver up out of the way, the organ curving around in this fashion. This is the stomach, pretty big stomach here. We pull the omentum back, oh, before we pull the omentum back, the organ way out here, kind of colored a little yellowish here, that's the spleen. Okay, then pull the omentum back in this fashion. This first long, thin organ I'm holding in my hand right now, pancreas. Okay. Then we have three parts of the small intestine. Going down the right-hand side here, oh, all these good noodles here. Uh, I should have said, I'm being filmed. I'm going to look silly on somebody's film. Okay. So going down the right-hand side here is the duodenum. It will curve towards the center. We said the upper loops are jejunum, lower loops are 
ilium. Flip everything over to this side now. And by the way, here's the end of the ilium. This is still ilium coming around here. Right here where it starts to get wide from this point on downward is the large intestine. Nope, large intestine or the colon. Way down here at the very bottom, the very base, that's the rectum. So we have ilium, large intestine or colon, rectum most inferior. Right in front of the rectum right here, we just said today, this is the urinary bladder. So pull this stuff out of the way now. What do we else, else do we see here? Kidney. A left kidney. This little tube here that drains urine down to the bladder. This is the left ureter. So you see the ureter right in there. Also, the big blood vessels here as well. The big blue vein here was inferior vena cava. Right beside it, the big artery is the abdominal aorta. You can see it all the way down to here. And you can also see where the abdominal aorta is going to branch. See one branch here, one branch here. Those two branches are the external iliac arteries. Left external iliac, right external iliac. Right behind them are the external iliac veins that combine to form the inferior vena cava. Then another vein here, very nice. This is the renal vein, a left renal vein coming from the kidney. Right behind it, you see this little thing right here. That's a left renal artery. Okay, And of course, right above the, the kidney, this little tiny bean-shaped structure here, this was the adrenal gland, the left adrenal gland. Oh, something else nice here. The big yellow vein, what's that thing called? Hepatic portal vein, or you just call it the plain old portal vein. Don't call it the hepatic vein. That's not, that's a whole different vein. Okay, so either portal vein or hepatic portal vein right in here. Okay, so I think that's all structures we can see in the abdominal region. Then, as we saw today, you have a testis. <coughs> this thing was the spermatic cord. Then down here, right below where the urinary bladder was, very nice on this meat, the big white thing right there is the prostate gland. And we have some holiday music, thank you. Okay, so the prostate gland. And lastly, penis. Okay, <laughs> one last thing also to find here on the thigh. I don't know if this mink shows it or not. Remember, you may see a nerve down here in the mink's thigh region. That would be the mink's femoral nerve. What was the big nerve found on the back? What was our bonus question on the last practical? Sciatic nerve. So don't forget some of the nerves. We had up here vagus nerve, femoral nerve on the front. On the back, you had sciatic nerve. The mink's underarm, this was the brachial plexus right in there. And that, yeah, the vagus is way, way back up here in the neck. That's the vagus nerve. Uh, this nerve is sticking out right here. This thing, this is the superior vena cava sticking up there. That's not a nerve at all. Questions? I think that should do it. Oh, remember also on the brain, just two parts of the mink brain, you get a nose cerebrum and the cerebellum, just on the mink brain. On uh, the models, all the models, I don't know if I can do all the models. Which one do you have the most problem with? There's a lot of stuff on the models. On the heart? Okay, we'll get the heart model. Did I do heart model with you guys last week? Oh, oh yes, I think we did, but we almost obviously forgot it. I'll do it again for you.